Welcome to the Blackboard 9.1 Overview. After watching this video, you'll be able to access a course within Blackboard 9.1, locate course notifications, navigate the course environment, access communication tools, create entries within the interactive discussion board, blog, wiki, and journal tools, view and submit assignments, tests, and surveys, and access additional help if needed. TCC's Blackboard 9 login screen can be accessed at tcc.blackboard.com. Use your existing e-account information in order to log in. Upon logging in, Blackboard opens to the welcome page. Right away you will notice the sleek new look of Blackboard 9. This entry page now consists of two tabs, My Institution and the Notifications Dashboard. From the My Institutions tab, you can access your courses, view your report card, view and add to your calendar, and much more. The Notifications Dashboard helps keep you informed and up to date with what's new and what you need to do. It consists of four modules, Needs Attention, To Do, Alerts, and What's New. Now we'll explore your new course environment. Let's begin by accessing a course from My Courses on the My Institution tab. The course layout is similar to that found in previous versions of Blackboard. The main navigation area is the course menu, and it serves as a central access point for content. After selecting a course menu link, the content opens within the content frame, the main display area for content and tools. Right away you will notice the layout and new icons found within the Blackboard 9 course environment. In Blackboard 9, the course menu has three view options. Furthermore, the menu can be collapsed or expanded. It can also be hidden to enlarge the content frame. Your instructors may display content directly within a content page, or they might present the content within folders, learning modules, or lesson plans. Each instructor will specify where their course content is located. You can review your grades by accessing My Grades from the Course menu or the Tools area. Next to your grade, you may find comments from your instructor. Each grade also links to the graded item. When checking your grades, you should always click on that link because your instructor may have provided additional feedback on that item. Let's go back and explore the home page, which may be the default start page when entering a course. The back button may not be supported for your internet browser. Thus, the course menu or breadcrumbs should be used to return to previous screens. Breadcrumbs are found above the content frame and contain links to pages along the navigational path to the current screen. The home page modules inform you of new content and due dates. You can customize the look of the home page by selecting a different theme or color scheme, or by using the drag and drop feature to rearrange the modules. You can also customize the content of the home page by adding or removing modules from view. Within the home page, you can use drop menus to show module options such as expanding and collapsing notifications, dismissing notifications, and refreshing notifications. Blackboard 9.1 includes several methods for you to interact with your instructor and your classmates. Note that your instructor controls which tools are available. Thus, if you do not see a particular tool within your course, your instructor may have disabled it. The email and collaboration tools are used for general communication. The email tool is great for sending email to your instructor, students in your class, or your group members. Blackboard does not store emails, but will send a copy of the email that you sent to your TCC email address. The collaboration tool enables you to participate in live chats with other students and or the instructor. Blackboard has many interactive tools for online activities, assignments, and projects. 
The discussion board is a familiar tool that consists of forums. The discussion board threads provide a place for you to exchange ideas with the class and generate dialogue. On the thread detail page, you can navigate from post to post and reply to others. You can post to a discussion board thread by replying in the thread. You read another student's post in the thread and reply to it. This creates a nested dialogue. Blackboard now has blogs. A blog is an open communication tool where you can share your personal insights or a log of events with the class. Thus, the focus of this communication tool is the original message presented by the blogger. You can easily create a new blog entry using the button at the top of the blog. You can then use the text editor to compose and share a dynamic message consisting of text, images, video, audio, and hyperlinks. If enabled, you can also comment on blogs. The Journal tool is another new feature to Blackboard. Journals are self-reflective tools that allow you to post your personal reflections about the course or discuss and analyze course-related materials. You will notice that the process for entering new journal entries and making comments is the same as that found in the blog tool. Also note that the journal is more like a diary and only allows private communication between you, the instructor, and if it is a group journal, your group members. Wikis are another tool that enables you to interact with your instructor and classmates. The Wiki tool provides a space where all students share their knowledge and collaborate on a document by viewing, contributing, and editing the content. You can create new Wiki pages or modify content in existing pages. The Wiki can include text, images, videos, and more. Remember that your instructor controls which tools are used within your course. Assignments may be assigned to you or to your group using the Assignments tool, which allows you to view and submit your assignments from a single location. Your instructor may also have you complete tests and surveys within Blackboard. If you need help while working in Blackboard, use the Help link found in the Course menu. In different areas of the course, Embedded Help can be found underneath the heading in the Content frame. It contains a short description of the area and a link to more help. That completes the Blackboard 9.1 overview. You should now be able to access a course within Blackboard 9.1, locate course notifications, navigate the course environment, access communication tools, create entries within the interactive discussion board, blog, wiki, and journal tools, view and submit assignments, tests, and surveys, and access additional help if needed. In addition to this video, resources are also available within Blackboard. Blackboard's help, accessed through the course menu, contains answers to frequently asked questions, how-to guides, and a link to on-demand video tutorials. The video tutorials can also be accessed directly by entering the following URL into your browser. The video tutorials will provide valuable assistance as you learn how to use various features of Blackboard 9.1. If you need additional support with Blackboard, please contact blackboard at tcc.fl.edu or call 850-201-8540. You can also call that number for general technical support. For general questions about TCC's distance learning opportunities and resources, contact the Center for Distance Learning at cdl at tcc.fl.edu or visit us online. Lastly, you can receive distance learning advisement via email, Skype, or text messaging.